I want to tell you why you should start a YouTube music channel. Coming up. What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Stratton, helping you create music and on this channel, I do reviews, tutorials, and setup videos just like this one. If you're new here, consider subscribing. So if you're watching this video, you might be thinking to yourself, should I start a music channel on YouTube? And the answer of course is yes. So in this video, I'm just gonna run down a few reasons why you should start your channel right now. So first things first, you never know who's watching your channel, right? So when I started YouTube, I didn't really have any plan on what I wanted to do. I had an idea that I wanted to put videos out there. I didn't really know my motivation or reason why. All I knew is I was starting to get back into music again and I wanted to share that music with others. So on February 9th, 2017, I released my first YouTube video. So that was about a year and a half ago, okay? And at that time, I had zero subscribers. And at that time, I didn't know if I would get any subscribers. I barely knew what subscribers were. So at the time, um, I didn't really understand the concept of YouTube and how it's really just you posting videos so other people can view it. So therefore, it's your channel, it's your TV show, you could put whatever you want. It is YouTube. So when I published that video, it was me buying a violin because I wanted to get back to my roots. Violin was the first instrument that I learned how to play. So I wanted to go back, relearn how to read music again, and I wanted to practice the violin because that was my first instrument. So at the time, I started to watch YouTube videos regularly. And, um, you know, I had watched YouTube videos before and I watched you know, vlogs before of musicians showing their studio, but it wasn't really like, like how it is today. The, the, the YouTube world today is a lot different than when I watched like one or two videos back in the day before I realized that people upload regularly. So when I uploaded this video, I didn't really think much of it. I was like, I want to use one of my own songs so nobody could get me on copyrights. I want to, you know, use whatever camera I have available. And I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna unbox this instrument and upload it. And uh, to this day, it has over 2,500 views. It has 27 likes. And I actually gained my first subscriber from that video. My first comment, my first subscriber from that video and the next video. And it was like, wow, somebody's watching this stuff. Okay, so what am I trying to get here? You never know who's watching your videos. You might uh, come up with an idea for a song, upload it, and you might get that one like that might push you forward to make that idea into a complete song, right? And I'm forewarning you here, this video is gonna be all over the place. I'm kind of just trying to bring it to you. This is a different kind of video for me. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do a series of how to do YouTube for musicians. It's gonna be how to record the video, how to record the audio, how to do the lighting, how to video edit, and how to upload and all that good stuff. So bear with me in this video. I hope you make it through. In any case, in that first video, I used the camera I had available. So I was in the honor society at my community college and I was the historian. So part of my job was to take videos and, and um, take pictures. And that's actually when I uploaded my first YouTube video that I put together. We were actually getting people registered to vote and I documented some of that process and I uh, uploaded it for my honor society. From that point, I kind of uh, was like, well, people are actually watching YouTube and subscribing and, it, and I started spending more time on there and I realized that this was a, a pretty big deal. Anyway, my first point was you never know who's watching. You never know who's going to appreciate your music. You never know what kind of comments you're going to get. You never know if you're going to get a like. You never know if you're going to get a subscriber. So it's definitely worth it to make a music YouTube channel. And on top of that, this is the camera that I used to make that first video, okay? And at the time, I didn't, didn't know much about YouTube. I was watching some vloggers or whatever, and uh, they were using all this fancy gear and everything, so I thought I needed all this gear to make videos, and I needed to go out and vlog. And if you look, my next video after that first one was a vlog, and it got around 30 views to this day. It got 35 views, and it did get a comment, and I, I was happy with that. I, I was like, wow, people actually watch this stuff. I didn't understand how they were watching it, how they were getting a hold of it, but I knew they were watching, right? So my point here is you, you can use whatever you have available to start a YouTube channel, all right? On to the next point, okay? So you don't really need to have concrete ideas to start uploading 
YouTube videos. That might sound kind of weird, but when I first started, I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, you know, I'm not saying I know it, what I'm doing right now, but I just went for it. I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna buy this stuff. I wanna buy this gear, so I'm just gonna open it and uh, kind of talk about it a little bit on camera. I'm gonna buy it anyway, so I might as well use the camera and upload it to YouTube. So I did some experimenting with opening like cameras and different things, which they, they, those videos didn't do so great, which is fine. They're still on there. You can see all these videos. I haven't deleted any of these older videos, okay? And, um, you know, I did a few more vlog style videos, but in each video I incorporated music, right? The first video I built a desk so I could put a keyboard on it. Uh, you know, the, some of the other videos I was playing a drum kit and then uh, another video I was jamming out with my nephew, right? So the, the point is, is you don't really have to have necessarily a concrete idea to put, to put stuff out on YouTube, right? Uh, you know, and say you're a musician and you're doing some jams, say you've got some gear or whatever, say you have um, an MPC and a Blofeld, you don't have to have a complete song to upload it. You can still share it and people will still appreciate it, right? So if you're just thinking, well, I have this guitar lick, I'm playing guitar, I don't know if anybody's gonna like it, just record it and upload it. People will listen to it. People will enjoy it. People like music. You know what I'm saying? You never know who's watching. You never know who's gonna like your video. You know, you don't need much gear to do it, really. You just need a, a glimpse of an idea and you can start uploading, right? And again, it's your channel. You can upload whatever you wanna upload. All right, so if you're new to my channel, you know I do a, a, a variety of videos, right? I do unboxings, I set up the new gear, I, uh, you know, do tutorials about how to use the gear, you know what I'm saying? And I'll actually show you some of the things where I'm actually doing it, like firsthand experience, right? You see me, i powering on the NPC Live, like I did a video called Setting Up the NPC Live. So I was like, I wanna power this thing on and just start, you know, using it and hooking things up to it and I'm gonna record it because it's your channel and you could do whatever you want you never know what people are going to benefit from right speaking of benefits what are some of the other benefits of starting a YouTube channel right yeah you can get subscribers you can get likes which is really cool knowing that there are other people that appreciate what you're doing also you can get other musicians that you could work with right say you're like in a town in the middle of nowhere and you're putting out you know, ads, oh, I want to be in a band or this and that, but nobody's responding or you're just not finding the right people. Well, once you're on YouTube long enough, eventually you're going to start interacting with people. You're going to interact with other YouTubers and eventually you're going to be able to collaborate with people. You can see on my channel, I've actually done two such collaborations so far, right? And it was all because we had an NPC, right? You can find other artists to work with. That's a very positive thing about YouTube, right? And speaking of, if you are a new artist or if you have any ideas you want to work with, go ahead and shoot me an email, shoot me a message in the comments, something like that. And we could definitely work together. But anyway, so yeah, I found, uh, you know, my first artist I worked with was actually, his name is My Dead Friend. And so we collaborated on a song. So he came up with the idea of the two sound challenge, which is he put two sounds on a track. He sent it over. I put two sounds on the track and we sent it back and forth. I think a total of, you know, uh, three times. So we each had three different times to add to the track, right? And we made a song out of it, you know what I mean? And then my next collaboration was, you know, with uh, Polly Popo, and that was a few weeks ago, right? You know, I got a lot of positive comments about that song, but none of that would have been possible had I not uploaded to YouTube. So that is one of the benefits of uploading to YouTube. And so I published this song on my channel on August 17th of 2018, and this already has, you know, over 345 views. It has 27 likes and it has tons of positive comments, right? So say you're a musician, you're thinking about uploading a video and you're new and uh, you're kind of self-conscious about it. You don't know if you should do it or not. Just do it and leave a message in the comments saying, hey, I uploaded this video, check it out. And I'll hop over, I'll check it out, you know what I mean? And there's other people that check out my videos that might check it out too. You know what I'm saying? So once you start uploading normally, you'll start to see, oh yeah, well, you know, a few people are starting to comment. You'll see people, you know, like a bunch of people you never heard from before start to comment. You'll see, you know, a few people that will start to comment on the norm, which is awesome. 
and you, you know you start to develop this kind of relationship with people and it's it's just it's, it's a very good thing it's a positive thing so if you're worried about you know people judging you um I, w I would say don't worry about it right yeah you can see on some of my videos some of my old videos right where i you know just got this gear and i'm experimenting with it and i'll for example uh in january there's this whole thing that cuckoo does he's a youtuber here and it's um and it's called january right where you just upload you know it doesn't even have to be a complete idea you just upload a jam so i uploaded a jam and then this dude was like well you you know left all these negative comments telling like pretty much just outlining like how much he knows but he he it was obvious he's never watched any of my other videos because he's over here trying to tell me how to work this stuff but i've actually explained how to use it in other videos so you'll get those people that come to your channel and you know they'll say some negative things or like try to tell you how much they know and you might read it and be like you know you might let it get to you for a second or two but soon you realize it really doesn't matter and then those comments won't even matter anymore eventually and then you know if somebody leaves something negative you're like whatever i know what i'm doing you know what i'm saying so i wouldn't worry about the comments you're definitely going to have support uh, you're going to have more support more likes than dislikes you know what i'm saying just so just upload and you'll be good woman you'll be good man you'll be good brother you'll be good sister just upload let me know that you uploaded and I'll check it out. And another thing is, you don't really need fancy software either. You don't need to know really how to video edit. Like yes, it's helpful, and yes, I do it. I edit most of my videos, but you don't really need to. You can just sit down, hit record, record a video, and then upload it. It's your channel, right? Just get started. Just start, start to do it, and you're good. Actually, my most popular video is me hitting record and just talking for five minutes about gear, about this cord that eliminated hum. So um, if you think you need to know a lot of video editing, you need special video editing software, you don't. I recorded my first couple videos and I uploaded them to Windows Movie Maker and edited them there, right? I since graduated from that, but I'm saying just use what you have available. I believe Movie Maker's free. There's a bunch of free programs, which I'll do on different videos, but yeah. There's a bunch of free programs. You only need whatever camera you have available. You know what I'm saying? People will support you. All that good stuff. And like I say, this is just an introduction video. This is a different kind of video for me where I sit and talk to the camera. I don't always do these type of videos. Usually I'm doing, you know, music videos or something to do with, you know, gear or explaining gear, opening boxes or you know, different things like that. But I wanted to do this intro video to give you an idea is like, I'm going to do kind of like a mini series on how to basically record and edit music videos with the knowledge that I have so far. Now I've been doing this a year and a half. So I'll, obviously I don't have all the knowledge in the world, but I do have a little bit of knowledge. I put a lot of time into it. I did a lot of research. So I'm going to go ahead and give you what I know and what I've figured out on my own. And what I figured out through watching videos and reading manuals and different things like that. So go ahead and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put a playlist eventually once I get it going. So go ahead and check out the playlist. I'll put a card up here. Question of the day, do you have a YouTube channel or are you thinking about starting one? Leave it in the comments below. My name is Matthew. Continue to create and I'll see you in the next video.